हाय हेलो नमस्ते माय नेम इज अभिषेक पाठक दिस इज डॉट नेट ऊप्स पार्ट सिक्सटीन दिस इज द कंटिन्यूएशन ऑफ डॉट नेट ऊप्स इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर विद प्रैक्टिकल सीरीज टिल नाउ आई हैव रिकॉर्डेड फिफ्टीन वीडियोस एंड दोज फिफ्टीन वीडियोस कंटेन टोटल सिक्सटी क्वेश्चन सो एज यू कैन सी दिस इट हैज ऑल द क्वेश्चन विच आई कवर्ड इन प्रीवियस वीडियोज सो इफ यू गायज हैव नॉट वॉच अर्लियर वीडियोज यू कैन वॉच दोज वीडियोज टू क्लैरिफाई योर डाउट्स इन दिस वीडियो आई विल कवर सिक्स इम्पॉर्टेंट इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन एंड दोज क्वेश्चन विल बी ऑन प्राइवेट कंस्ट्रक्टर सो फ्रॉम पार्ट थर्टीन आई स्टार्टेड रिकॉर्डिंग द सेशन ऑन constructor so like in uh, part 13 i recorded uh, three question what is constructor use of constructor different type of constructor uh, what is default constructor and in part 14 i recorded a few more question and part 15 and this is the part 16 so in this video we will be uh, covering six question and these question will be what is private constructor use or purpose of private constructor can we have default and private constructor both in class can we create the object of class if we have only private constructor in class can we inherit the class if we have only private constructor in class and last question will be can we have parameters in private constructor so let's find out the question the answer of first question that is what is private constructor so a private constructor is with, is with private access modifier is known as private constructor so as you can see the class is employ and we have got this private access modifier this is known as a private constructor and uh, second one is what is use or purpose of private constructor so generally uh, the use or purpose of private constructor is used when we have only static member in our class then we can use the a private constructor and also it is it can be used with singleton design pattern so let's do one thing let's do the practical to understand the private constructor so this is the same uh, this is the same project which uh, we were uh, referring earlier now uh, let's do one thing let's create the private constructor let me delete other constructor or we can comment also so okay now uh, to create the constructor we use the shortcut ctr double tab so this is the public let's change it to private now we have only private constructor in this class okay so private constructor with private access modifier is known as a private constructor so what is the use of that prior to uh, un understand the use of this let's read out some other question can we have default and private constructor both in class so as we, as you can see now we have private constructor let's create one default constructor okay so as you can see it's giving the error because private and default constructor both cannot be uh, in class at the same time why because this and this both are having same parameter or uh, same name like uh, we studied what is constructor overloading so this will throw an error so we cannot have private as well as uh, private as well as default constructor in class so the answer will be no okay so let's uh, read out another question can we create the object of class if we have only private constructor in class so let's do one thing let's try to create the object of this class so uh, we have already used this class that's why uh, these are written there so if we create the constructor object let's see what happens so as you can see it's giving the error employ constructor employ dot this is is inaccessible due to its protection level what does it mean when we have private constructor so this class is restricted means we cannot create the object of class so again i'm repeating when we have private constructor we cannot create the object of class so the answer will be no we cannot create the object of class because we are restricting because what happens when we create the object it calls the default constructor now that default constructor has been uh, marked as private 
so and private member can be used only within a class so this uh, we cannot create the object of this class okay so let's read out the another question can we inherit the class if we have only private constructor in class so let's do one thing let's create another class here public class suppose admin one and how to inherit the class so to inherit the class we write like this okay so as you can see it's giving error uh, let's uh, mouse over on that is inaccessible due to its protection level why because when we create uh, when we inherit the base class and when we create the object of child class first it is going to call the uh, base class constructor okay so we can't have uh, we can't inherit the uh, class having private constructor so again can we inherit the class if we have pri only private constructor the, the answer will be no okay so we covered what is the what is private constructor and uh, can we have default and private constructor both in class the answer is no okay the answer is no similarly can we create the object of class if we have only private constructor in class the answer is again no can we inherit the class if we have only private constructor class the answer is no okay so uh, okay so if we cannot create the object of class correct we cannot use the uh, we cannot create the object of class neither we can inherit the class then what is the purpose of that class okay so as we uh, studied if in our class uh, we have private constructor when to mark the constructor as private when we have only static member okay so suppose this is the static member public uh, static so this is the static here again uh, static here again we have this static and again static okay so if all the members are static in our class then we can mark that class as private uh, mark the constructor as private why the reason behind is because when we uh, call the static member we don't need to create the object of that class directly we can call the static member by using class dot so as you can see these members are available so if i assign anything here like this and if I build the application build is successful okay so the answer is like uh, when we have all the members are static in our class then we can mark that class as mark that uh, constructor as private why because even if we create the object uh, then there will be no use of that uh, class because we are having only static member static methods that's why we can mark that uh, constructor as private okay so this is the actual use of private constructor and another use of private constructor is like when we have singleton design pattern then we can use the uh, private constructor in uh, some of the videos I'll uh, create uh, the design pattern and I'll explain the singleton design pattern but remember when we have only static members and also when we are creating the singleton design pattern then we can mark our constructor as private okay so last question is like so let's change the color of this okay so the last question is can we have parameters in private constructor so as you can see uh, this is the parameter there is no parameter let's define some parameter here and let's build the application so as you can see we can have parameter as well in private constructor there is no harm at all but when we have parameter then we can have default constructor as well let's build the application as you can see we can build the application as well so 
the answer is yes okay so these are the six question which i uh, covered in this videos uh, this video uh, i hope i have cl clarified all the question with a practical so if you like my videos please subscribe share my uh, channel if you have any question comment or mail me and always thanks for uh, watching this video goodbye